You know my twin's gonna deliver a classic. Yo, what's up guys? Haven't seen y'all in three months, but I'm back with another pickups video. Um, real quick though, I just wanna break down what I'm wearing in case anyone was curious. This is an Alexander Diginova hat. This is a Kiko Kostadinov jacket. These are Bottega Veneta pants. And these are the Rick Owens Arizona. Our first pickup is this Balenciaga puppy and kitten shopper. I actually added some Chrome Hearts daggers on this just to give it a little bit more personalization. But this is an item that definitely speaks for itself. It's cute, it's stylish, it's actually useful. And the leather quality is pretty decent. Um, it's from Caring, and Caring also owns Bottega Veneta. So I've just come to expect amazing quality leather from all Caring houses. Yeah, this is no exception to that. It's soft leather, it's buttery, and you know, it's definitely an attention grabbing piece for sure. Okay, so moving on to the next piece, these Balenciaga skater shorts. I actually really love the way these fit. Even though they have like a five inch inseam, these fit so nicely. I love the details on these, you know, this destroyed hem, the like baggy flared fit of the shorts too. The wash is beautiful. Like this is like the dictionary definition of a beautiful light wash. The back, it has like a V-shaped cut right here. It has these straps and harnesses to adjust the waist. So that's pretty cool. It has a black Balenciaga jeans patch on it. It. And yeah, I actually grabbed these for like a super steal. I think retail is $1,200, closer to $1,300 on these. But I was able to grab these from a guy whose rent was due very soon. I paid about $350 for these. They came with the tag still attached, so that was a plus. I can't wait to wear these in the summer. Okay, so the next item I'm going to show y'all isn't a recent pickup. I actually bought these like over a year ago. I can't remember if it was two years ago or it's this pick pair of Chrome Hearts glasses. These were the online exclusive mist colorway. There's glitter on the front face of the glasses so they really shine when you're looking at people. I love that touch. They have daggers on both sides and Chrome Hearts glasses are probably, to be honest, the best glasses you can buy. Like the quality is insane. The details are insane. The designs are so unique and you just never see anything like them, you know? They're all made in Japan. Beautiful, high quality acetate, 925 silver. If it's Chrome Hearts, and not a hoodie or a t-shirt, you can expect pretty good quality. Next, we have another pair of denim shorts. These are the Acme Studios loose fitting shorts in washed gray, I believe. I have pants in the 2021 M cut in this exact same fabric. So I was already familiar with the game. I love the fit on them. They got that John Cena type fit. Mm, that's so hard. I was stuck between these and our legacy capris, but Essence had a good sale on these and I was able to get them for 50% off. I think it was like 190 bucks and retail is like 350. I wanted to get these in the summer too, but they were not going on sale in the summer, but it's winter time and no one is trying to buy shorts. Lucky me. They have the pink accent stitching. That touch of pink is just so beautiful. Just a simple pair of long denim shorts. Next. Next, we have another pair of shorts. <laughs> Shocker. Well, you know, still buying shorts in winter like this, bro. I didn't buy these though. These were actually a graduation gift from one of my best friends, Monik. He clutched up with these. We both went thrifting and he found these and I was low key salty. Just a little bit, the tiniest amount of salt. And I was like, I really wish I found those instead. But you know, I'm not about to force him to like, you know, phantom tax him. <laughs> but yeah, um, they're actually convertible pants, but because we thrifted them, the bottom got lost in translation somewhere. But yeah, they're pretty washed gray. They have olive straps and buckles. Um, they have the same harness details the Balenciaga shorts have, which is really cool to me. They have really deep back pockets, so you can put a lot of stuff in there. And there's also this hidden pocket right here. These pants have so much utility, it's pretty insane. Thank you, Monik, I really appreciate the gift, man. Okay, so moving on, we have something I picked up in Toronto and these are the 2022 denim jeans from Acme in dust. I love this wash and I love this cut. I feel like this is probably Acme's best baggy jean cut, but 
unfortunately they're women's only so the waist size is pretty you know narrow and the SA there like talked me into buying these because I wasn't sure like these are a waist size 30 normally I'll wear my pants and especially my acne jeans in the 32 you know to get that good sag these don't sag at all they fit so true to size even though they're a 32 inseam it still kind of works the details on here are pretty cool we got distressing around the front pockets and the wash is insane I love how it fades from this like dusty brown to the white and I like around the knee area and then goes back to like brown with more distressing on the bottom hem. We have two back pockets with more pink accent stitching and the pink looks so good on this dusty brown. But as I said earlier, these are a woman's pair so you do have the curse of women's pants pockets. So these pockets are pretty, pretty small. But nonetheless, they fit great and I love them. Okay, so the next pickup is this GG Bomber from Sage Nation. It comes in this absolutely handsome gray wool fabric and the cut on this jacket is so nice, so nice. It has like the perfect length, it has perfect sleeve length too. It's just, it's, it's a great fit. I love the material and I did not want to miss out on this. I was talking with my friend Alex and we were fanboying over this jacket for like the seven months they t kept on teasing it on their Instagram like, ha, ah, this is coming soon coming soon coming soon in our fall 23 delivery and finally it got delivered i got this off of farfetch and i think retail on this is like almost 800 dollars. i had like a birthday coupon on farfetch so i was able to get this for like 690 with taxes so yeah shout out farfetch sponsor me let's get kairos 10 going please and this isn't a recent pickup, but it's something I also bought off Farfetch. This is the exact model jacket Frank Ocean wore to the Met Gala. This is the Prada Velvet denim jacket, and words can't even describe this jacket. Like, in real life, it's honestly a breathtaking piece. The black is the deepest black you will ever see on a jacket. It's insane. It has denim underneath and then it's flocked with velvet and in areas of wear, like on the collar, the sleeves, the seams, some of that blue denim is starting to poke through. And I think that when this wears a little bit more, it's gonna look so, so, so sexy. And the cut on this jacket is actually insane. Like I remember when I tried this on for the first time, I was like, bro, like you can't get a jacket that fits as perfect as this, you know? Like, I'm fanboying over this, but like, I don't know, man. Some clothes just evoke confidence. And this is one of those things that when you put it on, you're like, okay, like I really have it on. I don't really wear this that much uh, because of what it is. So when I wear it like once a month, twice a month, you know, it's, it's fun, but yeah. This is a funny story too because allegedly, according to some dude on Grail, this was a European exclusive. And when I was trying to buy it, I was checking Grail, I was checking Buy Mass, and I just couldn't, you know, like find one that was like close to retail pricing. They were charging like three, four K for it. And I was like, okay, like this is kind of insane work. But I turned on notifications on Farfetch and I was like, yeah, this is never coming back in stock. But I still entered my email anyways. And like a few days, later I got an email and they dropped two of them like literally two there was one medium one large I saw the email a little bit late so the medium which was the size that I really wanted to get sold out but I was able to grab the large and I'm glad I grabbed the large because this large like I said earlier it fits perfectly the way it falls on my body is chef's kiss yeah the ship from me directly from the store manager of Prada New York so I kind of you know I was like maybe it really was like a EU exclusive jacket and the Prada flagship store manager in New York was able to get a few you know two and just you know sent them on Farfetch I might be blowing up her spot I'm so sorry if I'm blowing up your spot like I'm so sorry this was like a year and a half ago so hopefully all is well now you know and no one gets in trouble for what I just said Okay, so moving on, we have this thrifted, extra large, big and tall, not a short sleeve button up. Kind of has like that worn in feel on it, so I love it. It's soft, it's cool. I love the pattern on it, this white with the grid. I feel like you don't really see a lot of like really small grids on shirts these days. So I really appreciate that. Can't wait to wear this this spring. The fit is very oversized because it is an XL big and tall but that's cool. This is gonna go crazy with some baggy pants and some big shoes. I'm glad I found this thrifting because thrifting can be like 
really RNG. Here's another shirt I thrifted. This is a vintage Columbia button up. It's pretty cool. Um, it fits really true to size, even though it's an extra large. I love the buttons on these, like how it's like, you know, two-toned, has like some brown, it has some tan. And I just love like the color on this, like this brown and black kind of like looks purple in some lighting. Not much to say on this, so moving on. Next, we have this Stussy sweatshirt vest. Um, I picked this up in Stussy, Toronto. Um, some OG viewers may know that every time I go to like a different, you know, environment, I guess. Anytime I travel, I try to pick up a Stussy, like maybe a hoodie, a shirt or something. doesn't really matter. But in Stussy, Toronto, they had no Stussy, Toronto chapter stuff at all. So I was like pretty heartbroken. But I did grab this because I thought it had a lot of styling options. Um, I have worn this on my Instagram and yeah, it's pretty cool. Not much to say, it's like pretty simple. Like it's a core item, you know? You can't really go wrong with the gray sweater vest and it's fleece line too, so. Next piece, we have this Stanley DeSantis Wizard of Oz tee. I picked this up in Austin. I just have, I've had my eye on this shirt for like an actual long time, like since the pandemic. And I was able to get this variation of it. There's a different variation of it that has the wig casting like a spell on Dorothy's heels but this one is cool it's just the heels and on the back it says close your eyes and tap your heels together three times with the Wizard of Oz like movie branding on it the wash is pretty cool um, I wouldn't say it's elite but it gets the job done it's soft it's a soft t-shirt it's a Stanley DeSantis can't go wrong with that. Okay, the next shirt I picked up was this Everybody Loves Raymond t-shirt. It says holy crap on it. I just love the font they use for it and I love how it's like placed right above his head. I just love the way this graphic looks. And sometimes I'll say everybody hates Raymond, but that's because I used to watch a lot of Everybody Hates Chris. But it all just like starts jumbling in my head. Everybody loves good vintage tees, so. Okay, so next we have this US Army distressed hat in digi camo. I think it's funny that it's distressed. Whoever the creative director is at Army, they're kind of going crazy. <laughs> they're spazzing, bro. I got this off eBay for like 20 bucks. Next hat, I picked up this Navy Options hat. This is, I believe, from their New York City pop-up. It's pretty clean. You know, the design is simple, but it's pretty stylish, I can't lie. My friend Monik actually has one of these, and every time I see him, he's always wearing his. He has like a tonal black version, and I've just been like, I need one low-key. That's the Options Austin hat. Shout out Options Austin. Next, we have another vintage tee. I picked this one up from Options. It's a single stitch tee. It says California tan on the chest right here, but what really like caught my eye was the back. And on the back, it has a picture of this dude tanning and it says heliotherapy, the positive effects of the sun in this goaded font. And I just thought it looked so clean, like from a design point of view. So I copped it. It was like 30 bucks. Okay, so last but not least, we have this Yoji Yamamoto coat. After my grad party, me and my friends went to Second Street and I was able to find this absolute banger, but it was ravaged and I was just like so sad. I was like, oh my God, like, but never give up because thrifting is so RNG and when you find something that you really like, you gotta take the chance, you know, kind of try and restore it. I'm gonna get it dry cleaned and see what that does later, but just the dyeing on it with like the random spots of red on this like gray flannel material is just amazing. The way it drapes on my body is also great. The length is fantastic. You can just get a lot of wear out of this. But shout out Yoji and shout out Second Street for finally coming up clutch because I've been in that Second Street a few times and it's always a thumbs down, bro. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to show for the pickups. I appreciate you guys for, you know, subscribing, liking my videos, and let me know what you think. Also, I've been really getting into like techno, trance, electronic music. So if anyone has any good recs, please put me on in the comments. I've been really into Snow Strippers, Prime, Salem. Can't remember anything else at the moment, but please drop a comment and let me know like your favorite song. It's 8.52 and we're on the way to Austin. Where is Boosie, bro? The mascot, he's like in there. People are like taking pictures with him.
One bag of chips. Hey. I'm about to, hey, this is my breakfast. Yo, that's a boy breakfast. Thank you. Thanks so much. That looks good. Ah, he put me on. Oh, he put me on. Hey, I'll be one of your drop. Take it, bro. Yeah, help yourself, bro. I'll take yours. Nah, bro, it's trying to fan him so What is the fan of that TikTok thing? So whenever he's watching their streams, right, and he sees that they're like eating food, he'll just go upstairs and be like, Dang. That's the phantom tax. When I put these glasses and this beanie on, bro, that's my signature move. But yeah, just the fit. Elder beanie, chrome glasses, acne bomber, vintage 93 pearl jam tee, acne jorts, easy socks, and Bottega derbies. We're across the nice kicks. I'm gonna check if they have pokers. Yeah, and we're taking the under that they have hocus, bruh. But we'll see. You never know, bruh. Hey, what, what's, what's the line? Have, what are we looking for? <laughs> we're looking for hocus shoes. Just over, under, yes or no? <laughs> All right, so if you took the under on nice kicks having hocus, hey, you get a high five. Hey. Hey. <laughs> but now we're heading to low five vintage. Slash modern, so yeah, yeah, you'll see. Wake up, filthy. I took the walk <laughs> to Poland. <laughs> nice little ringer. And it's like felt lettering too. And that goes hard. Oh, what? Something on my back. Was... I don't understand. <laughs> like, what's the correlation? All right, so we just got out of Lo-Fi. <laughs> they had a pretty good selection of uh, vintage tees, knits, pants. There was a lot of Carhartt, but in Austin, I feel like that's, like, probably what the drip demographic here is looking for, like, Carhartt workwear, you know, sneakers, that type of stuff. I never miss an opportunity to flick up for real, bruh. But what are we deciding? Heads is oh, what? Yeah, heads? heads, I get it. Heads, you can get it? Yeah. Okay. Pause. Oh, yeah. Hey, Siri, flip a coin. Hey. Say <laughs> hey, goodbye. Say <laughs> goodbye. It's not meant to be. Damn, <laughs> Let's get a 360 Everybody. chin. Hey. <laughs> Alright, we just got out of pavement. Selection was pretty pretty mid. But now we're about to go hit Never New. Hopefully that place is a little bit more curated. So let's see. I'll let y'all know. Finished up, never knew. Like a, a store, like got the Everybody Hates Raymond's Holy Crap tea. That was funny. So now we're heading to Rags Revenge and we're about to see what that's like. Yeah, but it was like parking lot. These 4 PF and they got hella motion, mad motion. All right, we just got out of Rags Revenge. Um, it was pretty cool. They had a solid collection of like vintage tees with like excellent fading. Um, I picked up uh, 
Wizard of Oz t-shirt. It's a Stanley DeSantis blank, which is really clean. And it's also faded pretty nicely. It has a front and a back print. I'll probably show y'all in the pickups part of this video. All right, so now we're headed to Flamingo's to look for some drip, but on the real, like, have you seen a... The, the Jaded London store. That's what uh, we're looking yeah, for. Yeah, where's the Jaded London store, bro? I'm trying to, you know, we're trying to cop some sauce, bro. <laughs> We just got out of Flamingo's. Loki had to Alt F4 that this time. It wasn't hitting. We're going to Juice Land to go get some juice, bruh. They opened up a Mew Mew in Texas. I'll be outside the store like, hey. All right, so we're about to enter Yom Studios. They carry a lot of designers, so about to see what that's about. I think they made this. It has like a clear back panel with their logo. And look at these sleeves, bro. They've been ravaged, but it's so hard, bruh. All the detailing, bro. Pretty sick jacket. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, this part of the upcoming Young Home Plus collection. We're going to do our debut runway. Uh, show, you know what I'm saying? This is like the first look of it. We got the pants on the mannequin in the square too type shit, but yeah, me and the homie Zeke, we came up with this hoe. Uh, he stitched it, you know what I'm saying? I have distressed most of it, pretty much, but yeah. How'd you do the sleeves? Like the cuffs? Like this? Yeah. Shit, sandpaper and like scissors and just fucking with that hoe. Yeah, like, that's really tough. A lot of like, you know, I don't know. This piece probably took at least two hours or three hours. And how many of them were you able to like make? We only have this one right now, but okay. we're trying to have a lot. Like we're gonna have a whole ready to wear with our, co mm -hmm. our collection too. So that way everybody can like cop, you know? Yeah. Not just like the, the runway pieces. Cause like some of that shit won't be like as wearable. And it'll only be like one of one, so. Yeah, that's cool. Hell yeah, bro. Okay, what's like the dates, like the dates and stuff? Shit, we're shooting for like fall winter. Okay. Year, you know, so like fall winter 24, probably around like September, I think that happens. Some hoes aren't even finished yet either, bro. We still gotta put a waistband and stuff on them, but. Yeah, these are tough though, bro. Yeah, yeah. Hey. so sick bro it's like caught my eye when i walked in but i don't know i think one might be too much bro and do they do this like themselves you get the chain stitching on the it's pretty cool pretty cool freaky rick <laughs> these are a queen silhouette Imagine if this was your house layout. Nah, this is cool. They got like a bunch of cool stuff. They got like the Jeff Koons. I love this. This is cool. The Lego Porsche. Ah. And the course, bro. You know, we some real eaters. Bruh. 
That's tough. Might be my cut. Got a good curated selection here at Auctions <laughs> Austin, bro. Uh, they get ten of you, huh? <laughs> hey. I'm stuck between like getting five fingers or getting like tabbies, bro. I'm gonna think about it, ponder on it. Some more. I'm home now. I forgot to say that Yom Studios is great, excellent curation, options, Austin. Amazing curation. I'm gonna watch solo leveling. Bye. Guys, I guess just don't fall the fucking sky, you know? <laughs>